How's it going, YouTube? Oxy here, and welcome back. So, for today's video, I thought I'd talk about the... Well, it's like an overall discussion, but... Kazuya. Uh, Kazuya Mishima is the newest Super Smash Bros. Ultimate character. And, look, I'm be gotta be honest, I wasn't that hyped. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. After seeing the Sakurai Presents and everything, yeah, he's, he's hype as shit. Like, he's... You know, those some poor Smash Bros. players, you know, <laughs> about to get dogged, like, <laughs> real bad. Like, uh, I mean, hey, you got to expect the day one nerf. Like, dude looks insane uh, <laughs> as you're seeing footage right now, um, which was all captured from Nintendo, the official Nintendo YouTube channel. And I bring that up because if you know anything about Nintendo, they don't play around with their IPs and copyrights, so... You know, it's from Nintendo, but I'm talking over it, so suck it. But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, Kazuya Mishima, newest character, again, looks insane, bruh. He's got wave dashing, and the, and you know, he's got his wind god fist, of course, he's got electrics, like, dude's a dog, and hey, I'm excited, I mean, uh, I don't know about y'all, but I grew up with Tekken, you know. Tekken 5 is probably my favorite, you know, shout out to Yoshimitsu, uh, which, on another note, he would have been hype, I mean, I don't know, what do you guys think, because he could represent both Tekken and Soul Calibur, because if you're familiar, a Yoshimitsu character, they're not the same, they're part of, like, the same clan, are in both games, so that would have been cool, but, yeah, I mean, cool character, and I mean, can't wait. He's, I think he's out, a release of this video. He's out to everybody. I don't own a Switch, but my friends do, and they own the second pass, so definitely going to check it out. And, but, what I really wanted to get into was, of course, the Miis, right? Everyone's, you know, basically the, this round's deconfirmations, right? I mean, God, you had what, the, and it's a rhyme too, you had Dante and Shantae, oof, right, big oof, big Roblox moves right there, like man, you know, <laughs> pour one out for you guys, I'm really sorry, but yeah, Dante, out, Shantae, I mean, hey, she's what a lot of people call a deluxe me, right, she comes with the music track, and hey, that's cool, so, but you know, I feel for you guys, but what I wanted to what I wanted to focus on is, like, so, Sakurai in the Presents confirmed the next fighter, you know, Challenger Pack 11, is the final fighter in Ultimate, period. I mean, hey, maybe, you know, yeah, there's the argument, oh, he's lying, you know, they're gonna reveal Fighter Pass 3, or they could even do a bonus, I mean, like, Piranha Plant, he's not part of uh, the first pass, and he was, like, a bonus, so... Maybe they have a bonus at the end. Hey, maybe it's Waluigi. <laughs> Who knows? But as far as we know, this is it. And look, what I wanted to point out was, again, in the Mi release, we saw, uh, you know, Dragon Board, the Dovahkin, Skyrim, right? So Bethesda. I bring up Bethesda because if you pay attention, that's two uh, Mi's they have now. One being... Uh, I guess he would call it Deluxe, like, his look, the Vault Boy. And then, of course, now Dovahkin. And I bring that up because, okay, so they have two Miis, but not an official f fighter. And look, my most requested fighter, and again, if he, if it happens, I'm buying the Switch, like, you know, boom, like, ordered, you know, <laughs> like, it, it's a system seller for me. And again, Bethesda, who other than the Doom Slayer? I mean, come on, you know? It's like, it like, because I am genuinely scared that they're going to end this pass with, like, some first party, you know, like, Breath of the Wild 2, like, Zelda or something, or one of the champions. You get what I mean? Like, a first party, like, another Pokemon or something. I mean, let's be honest, that'd be so disappointing. But then again, it's Nintendo, so you kind of like, uh... You know, to bookend it, they're going to do that. Because, I mean, hey guys, <laughs> there is never going to be a better Super Smash Bros. than this. Like, this literally, it's ultimate, right? It has a crossover of the century. No video game will probably ever come close to this type of, you know, like, event again. 
well, I guess Fortnite, right? <laughs> but <laughs> you get what I mean. It's just, there's never going to be one this big. And yeah, the Doom Slayer, I think he'd be awesome. Again, uh, when it comes to video game history, Super Mario Bros., you know, the original, 85, is arguably the most important, well, not arguably, it is the most important video game, period. Because, of course, uh, <laughs> if you know, the Atari 2600, E.T., pretty much caused the crash of video games in 83, like, if it wasn't for Nintendo and the NES and Super Mario Bros, like, video games would have died out. It would have been a fad, you know, like, <laughs> like Walkmans and stuff like that. And, yeah, so Super Mario Bros, and again, Doom, like, the, the, <laughs> like, it literally, okay, it wasn't the first, Wolfenstein 3D wasn't either, that's probably, I think it was, like, Maze War, or some, like, military training tech that you could call a game that was, like, in first person, but Doom popularized the first person shooter, it is the father of them all. And I think, like, even in the video games, like, Vault of, um, they have a vault of, like, I'm sorry, not Vault. It's, like, like, the film registry. There's, like, a registry for video games. There's only seven in there. Uh, and guess, <laughs> guess two out of the seven. Super Mario Bros. and Doom. And I'm just saying, think, how hype would it be again? Like, uh, literally, Doom Slayer is, like, at Mario's level when it comes to, like, significance in gaming. And Sakura has said he wants it to be a celebration of gaming. And we don't have a proper first-person shooter rep, right? So, I mean, boom. I know people say Master Chief, but come on. Uh, that's like saying uh, Mario's gonna, a uh, Mario skin is gonna appear in, like, Halo. That's not happening, people. I mean, and I know a rule they have stated before is that to be in Smash or be considered... Uh, you know, you have to have a game on, like, uh, a Nintendo platform. Doom works. Doom 64 on Nintendo 64, which was re-released, you know, with Doom Eternal. Check it out. It's only five bucks. It was a pre-order, so, hey, I got it for free, but it's only five bucks. Quality shooter, and, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I like it a lot. It's definitely, uh, underrated, like a hidden gem. It's, uh, slept on. But, yeah. Halo not happening. That's Xbox's mascot. The only way I see that happening is if, like, Nintendo, Microsoft, like, confirmed that Game Pass is coming to the Switch, which, I don't, again, uh, I know people want that, and that would be exciting, but you have to be realistic. Why would Nintendo allow a competitor to just, like, pretty much steal, you know, be like, hey, you know, Nintendo sells games full price, right, 60 bucks, or it's like, pay for game pass they wouldn't do that unless nintendo's getting a percentage which again obviously microsoft is trying to grow game pass that ain't happening so no master chief but yeah the slayer would be hype <laughs> like <laughs> it's just frustrating because of course of all the leaks and everything you know we it's like every single one has been off all the characters getting revealed are like unexpected i mean look at sephiroth right everyone was like oh uh you know we got cloud right and it was like okay that's a uh, square enix rep right and then we got sephiroth which is another one and not only that from the same game you know, like final fantasy 7 you see what i mean it's like every you know how fans have these rules right or theories of like oh what dictates like what characters can and can't get in. They've been, like, proven wrong, like, <laughs> time after time. So, yeah, I mean, I guess this, yeah, pretty much this video is just Nintendo. Look, if you're listening, get the Doom Slayer. Again, that's a Switch purchase right there. You can't tell me that wouldn't be hype as hell. And especially with the whole, I mean, even, like, look, just, like, you know, tin tinfoil hat, right? Um, <laughs> like... How cool would it be if they reference like the whole Doom guy and Isabel thing? Cause again, if you don't know, Doom and Animal Cross, Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing New Horizons both released on March twentieth, twenty twenty. And you saw all the memes like you got Isabel, you know this innocent little uh, animal. I don't know. She's like a bunny, a dog, and she's buying some like heavy metal game. And you got the Slayer, obviously tenth testosterone incarnate 
buying like you know animal crossing so it'd be pretty cool i mean again i don't want to get my hopes up because realistically i'm expecting a first party like just like the first pass they ended with by lift after they had banger after banger you know banjo like terry terry was pretty cool like you get what i mean like they had all these third parties and to end it with like by lift was like such a and i i'm scared that's gonna happen again but We'll see. But yeah, that was just my little update. You know, Smash News. I mean, I keep up with it. Again, he gets in, getting a Switch. But yeah, guys, <laughs> that was just my video. My hopes that the Slayer will get in. But I mean, let me know what you think. Who would you like to see get in? And hey, be sure to let me know in the comments how I'm completely wrong. And he would never work for Smash. <laughs> but <laughs> as always, guys, be on the lookout for new videos every Tuesdays and Saturdays. And be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good jazz. And as always, guys, I've been your host, Oxy. Take care.